Soul of the Duelist was released in October 2004. This set radically changed how booster packs were structured as it was the first set to follow the Japanese format. Secret rare cards were no longer printed and instead came the first ever ultimate rare cards. What was cool about ultimate rares during this time is that every single card that was either rare, super rare, or ultra rare had an ultimate rare printing. This gave players the opportunity to not only obtain these cards that they wanted, but also upgrade those cards to a much higher rarity if they desired. Soul of the Duelist was also the first set to introduce the level mechanic, a new way to get increasingly more powerful monsters to your side of the field. Notable cards in this set include Mobius the Frost Monarch, Horus the Black Flame Dragon, Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke, Mystic Swordsman Level 2, and one of the formerly most popular side deck options at the time, Mind Crush. In this series, both Nim Nim and myself will be opening 24 booster packs or one box of a core Yu-Gi-Oh booster set. We will build a deck and play a best two out of three, and the winner will receive a small prize to upgrade their deck. However, in each episode, we will open another box of the next set that was released moving in chronological order, constantly upgrading our decks before dueling each other at the end of each episode. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh Progression Series. You know, guys, I may have survived Chaos Emperor Dragon once, but we still have, what, 70, 80 episodes of this to go, so it's going to be an uphill battle every single time, and even though it came down right to the end, again, Gage could have just slammed that Emperor Dragon down at any point earlier in that game, and that game would have been completely completely different but we're gonna go ahead and spin our wheel and see what we get out of ancient sanctuary um again not really too many crazy things to be pulling in here so looks like we're gonna be getting a common wild card let's go ahead and see what we're gonna take so i'm looking through the common cards here i'm not really too impressed by anything i feel like i got everything that was good out of the common slot in this set so i think what we're just gonna do is we're gonna go ahead with the good old order to smash and order you guys to smash the like button for the progression series soul of the dullest released october 1st 2004. This set is actually pretty lackluster compared to the last few we've opened. That's not to say there's still some gems in this set. The horse, the black flame dragons get released in this set, level 4, 6, and 8. These cards are actually pretty dope. If we reach the almighty level 8, we can actually negate a spell card on either player's turn. Very huge effect. Uh, of course, you have to pull all the other ones above it too, but hey, if we could get it, that'd be pretty dope. Dark Mimics aren't that bad too. Dark Mimic level 3 in particular, when it's destroyed by battle, set to the graveyard, we draw a card. Pretty decent cycle on a level 3 body. And then the Mystic Swordsmen aren't that bad either. At the start of the damage step, if they tack a face down monster, they're gonna destroy them. That's not too bad either. Arm Dragons, they're kinda cool. One card that I'm particularly excited about and I hope we can pull it to pair with our Zaborg is Mobius the Frost Monarch. When he's Tribute Summon, target two spell traps on the field and destroy them. This one especially is way powerful. I thought Zaborg was good, but I appreciate Mobius even more now, especially in the progression series. If we can pull that Mobius, oh, we will be living large against Alex. I don't think he's gonna stand a chance. Ojama King gets released in this set, a level six metamorphosis target. Could be coming in handy, who knows? Especially since I ran out of lights last episode. Hammer Shot's the counterpart to Smashing Ground, and it's pretty good removal. Destroy a face of attack position monster with the highest attack. I think I like Smashing Ground a bit more, but I do appreciate this card. I think it's pretty good. Other than that, the one other thing that draws my eye is Mind Crush. Declare a card name. If it's in our opponent's hand, they discard all copies. Otherwise, we pitch one. Still, if we have the knowledge of what's in Alex's hand, we are going to be able to dump whatever it is out of his hand, which is pretty okay. Cards that are added off a painful choice. Cards added back with Magician of Faith. They are not looking pretty after Mind Crush is flipped. That being said, 24 packs of Soul of the Duelist. Let's see what we get. Let's go ahead and start cracking and see what we get. Nothing really too exciting about this first pack, but we will move on. Okay, Hammer Shot. This is pretty good. This is kind of like the attack equivalent to Smashing Ground, but unfortunately, I think it works for either player, not just your opponent. So that's a downside, but it's more spot removal. That's not bad. Mask Dragon is also okay. It's a card that can effectively just replace itself. I think those cards are getting a little bit worse, but it is level three instead of level four, like something like Mystic Tomato. So it is just something to consider. So this is actually the first set that contained Mind Crush. 
Crush. Mind Crush is an extremely powerful card, especially in tandem with a card like Trap Dust Shoot. And if Mind Crush, if we happen to know something that's in his hand that he searched with like Witch of the Black Forest or Sangan, this could be a very, very good card. Well, there's a second Mind Crush. If these don't make the main deck, they'll probably just make the side deck just because they are so powerful. You also, uh, unfortunately, don't get the hand knowledge anymore. But again, just being able to pinpoint cards out of his hand is so good. Hey, the Ojama King. Okay, pretty good rare. I ran out of light targets last episode. So having a level six metamorphosis that, you know, I can blink a chaos sorcerer or like the Jinzo into to get another light isn't terrible. Also, this just blocks off three monster zones. Who knows? That might come in handy. We'll find out. Prenumeral Soldier Lady. This card is poop. If this card attacks, a light monster gains a thousand attack. Yep, that's trash. Oh, look, another Ojama King and the Mind Crush. Okay, this pack wasn't so bad. There's a Hammer Shot. That's pretty sick to pull. I think I'm going to stick with Smashing Ground, but Hammer Shot is nice to have in the bank, I will say. Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke. This card is nuts. So it's not only a light, it's level 4, 1800 attack warrior. So if Gage gets this, unfortunately, he's going to have another row to target. And at the start of the damage step, if it attacks a face-up defense position monster, destroy it. So this is a clean way to deal with cards like Gravekeeper Spy, Gravekeeper Guard if they're already flipped face up. This is a very, very nice pickup. All right, moving on along. Horus the Black Flame Dragon level six. I believe this is just like impervious to like all spell effects, which is kind of neat. Uh, it is a 2300 level six, so it is a bit excessive to summon, but still neat if we pull Horus level eight. I don't know. That might be something we have to consider. We also have another hammer shot, which is cool, but again, I think Smashing Ground is just strictly better. Oh, wow. That's an ultra rare. Mystic Swordsman level four. Unfortunately, it's not a light. It is an earth. Level 4, 1900 attack warrior, but you can't normal summon it because you have to like, have it set first and then flip it up, or you have to level Mystic Swordsman level 2 into it. But this is another thing that can just immediately just eradicate his back row. So maybe it's worth considering just for that. There's a lot of small monsters, and if we can just like set him turn 1 and then maybe flip him up, it might be difficult for Gage to actually deal with it. Oh, yeah! Yo! Mobius the Frost Mardark! That is sick, dude! Oh, he's sliding in the main deck too. These monarchs are coming in clutch. My deck is looking even better. Alex has been setting a whole bunch of back rows. Some of the things are better than others. Wall of Revealing Light's actually kind of spooky. So Mobius is going to be able to at least get in there and pop too. I like that. I'm so happy I pulled that. Master of Oz, huh? Believe it or not, this was the biggest fusion monster at the time. Not the easiest thing to summon, but 4,200. Yo, he is chonging. All right, coming up on the end of the pack opening here, two more packs. If I can get one more Mind Crush, that completes our set. Uh, but overall, the Mobius, I can't complain. That's probably, like, one of the best cards out of the set, actually. Nothing there. And the last pack... Yeah, another hammer shot. I can't complain. I got Mobius. I'm happy. Uh, Mobius, Ojama King were the two things I was really looking for. I pulled them. So let's throw them in the deck. Let's see how they work out. Wow, there's a second Horus level six with a Horus level four. I don't think we're going to be playing the Horuses as cool as they are. Like this is just like iconic Yu-Gi-Oh right here to me. But uh, if we pull the level eight, that would be pretty sweet. There's a really, really big pull. Mystic Swordsman level two. So this card, if it attacks a defense position monster at the start of the damage step, it immediately gets destroyed. It doesn't get flipped face up. And with so many flip effect monsters for both Gage and myself, this is just a way to just easily dispatch of any of those threats. It's not a light or a dark. It isn't earth, which kind of sucks, but this is still almost too good of a card not to play. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Mobius the Frost Monarch. I don't care if I didn't get anything else in this set. Mobius was what I wanted 100%. Mobius the Frost Monarch, when it's tribute summon, not only is a 2400 attack monster, but it pops not only one spell or trap, it pops Two. This is going to be so devastating to clear Gage's back row, whatever he may have. Oh, I am so happy to see this. He can have Zaborg from Ancient Sanctuary. Mobius is where it's at. Oh my god, we actually pulled the Horus level 8. Wow, so we could, if we wanted to, play the Horus deck. We're probably not going to, but uh, being able to just have two Horus level fours, two Horus level sixes, and then this, and just have every spell card negated. The OG combo is to have like this and Jinzo out, so then no spells or traps can be activated. Man, 
I really, really, really want to do that, but I don't think we're going to. I'm pretty happy. Like this definitely was a lot better than uh, my last polls, I would say for sure. Got a lot of pretty much all the highlights of Soul of the Duelist. So let's not waste any more time and get to deck building. All right, here's the updated list. Actually, not too many changes uh, around from last time here. I was pretty happy with how the deck performed last time, even though we lost. I just think I got some pretty uh, poopy hands. I just never was able to draw the Chaos Emperor Dragon, which is like the power push of this deck, and it's going to be able to close at the games. But I did throw a couple things in there to complement that and hopefully clear the way so he's going to be okay to summon. That Mobius just easily hit the main deck as soon as I pulled it. I knew Mobius was going to be nice, and I'm glad I really pulled it because it's going to be able to pop two backers that might be just giving me trouble. I put Ragdecky Break back into the main deck after some trouble with Wall of Revealing Light. I want to at least have it out to it and still like not having the greatest spell or trap removal. This is something that can out anything. So I wanted to be able to have uh, just a generic out to something. I may have ran out of lights last time, but I had a dead metamorphosis in my hand, so giving myself additional metamorphosis targets. Odrama King's a really good one because I can sack over the Mobius uh, to make a light monster, uh, but that's just to have more light monsters accessible in case I do run into that situation where I would run out and I'm not able to summon my chaos monsters again. I don't think it'll happen again though. I just think Alex got lucky with a careful uh, activations of a couple bottomless trap holes and uh, forcing out that freed, but I don't think it'll happen again. I don't think our light monster count is anything that needs adjusting really. It's not enough for me to revisit air Knight Parshath, just because I think Zaborg's better. It gets the job done. But um, yeah, altogether, I'm pretty happy with this deck. Hopefully, we can draw a little bit better of a grip and uh, take Alex down this time once and for all. Or, you know, we just get unlucky again and draw absolute poop. But We'll see when we get there. All right. Good luck, Alex. All right, guys. So this is what we're going to be taking to today's duel. So we have some changes compared to last time. We've got the three Chaos Sorcerer. We've got the Exiled Force, Gravekeeper's Guard, two Spy, the Jinzo, down to two Merchants because we have some new light targets, two Magician of Faith. We had to put in the Mobius. This card is so good, and there's no reason we should not be playing it. We're also playing both Mystic Swordsman level two and level four. Level two is a little bit better just because we can easily normal summon it and just pop one of his guys. Level four, though, we do have to set it first or level it up off of level two. So a little bit more conditional, but we can at the very least like set level four, maybe set like a Sakuretsu armor, then flip level four up. And it's not like the worst, but we'll see how this performs. If not, we can just side deck it out. We have Knight Assailant. Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke is an incredible addition. It's also a light. Gives us a lot of flexibility to take out stuff like his Gravekeeper Spy, Gravekeeper Guard, different things like that. Two Old Vindictive, the Sangan, the Sukiyomi, and two White Magical Hat. Spells and traps, I think are pretty much the same. Two Book of Moon, Dark Hole, Heavy Storm, Painful Choice, Pot of Greed, Regeki, Double Smashing Ground, and the Snatch Steel. And then we have two Bottomless, the Imperial Order, two Sakuretsu Armor, Torrential, and Wall of Revealing Light. For the side deck, it's pretty much the same. We kind of shifted a few things around. We have the one Cliff, the Trap Remover, and the two Swarm of Locusts, and the Cold Wave for the spell and trap removal as necessary. I put the third Merchant in here. If this Mystic Swords in level four just isn't doing it, I'm probably going to swap it out for this third Merchant or for the third copy of Smashing Ground, depending on what I see fit. We also have the two Mask of the Accursed and the two Wave Motion for the slow stun strategy. We have two mind crush in here to pair with the trap dust shoe. This is for when I know I'm going to go first and that way I can ensure that I can maybe get this combo off. I feel like it's better to have less traps when I'm unsure of what that's going to be. Although given my track record of rock, paper, scissors being like one in 10, I'm probably going to be going first more often than not. And then the two are Geki break just as generic uh, catch all for anything that needs to be removed. So that's going to do it for my deck, guys. It is time to duel. All right, guys, so here we are once again. But before each match moving forward, we are going to shout out one random patron who has decided to support us on Patreon. And at some point, we're going to be able to pump out two of these progression series episodes per week. So thank you to Sawyer Cook being one of our first loyal patrons. You are awesome, and we couldn't have done this without you. Sawyer, you are a beast, my guy. Gage, I just have one question for you. Do you have the soul of the duelist to be able to pull Chaos Emperor Dragon before I win? <laughs> I mean, hopefully do. Otherwise, that soul's <laughs> getting crushed, bro. I got the... <laughs> it was not my day yesterday, dude. Is it just me? Or is more like the next packs we open? They're just not as exciting as Invasion of Chaos, dude. Like... <laughs> I think that's just going to happen. Like, Invasion of Chaos was so format warping. But, like, we're going to get to some better sets in the future, obviously. But, yeah, it's like, it's definitely not nearly as climactic as that. Yep. All right. So, let's see if you can uh, win a rock, paper, scissors for once in your life, huh? Please, for once. For oh, once. you Thank did you. it! You did it! Thank you! Thank you. Okay, <laughs> now the one reason I'm upset about this is because 
that means that you might win this game. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's a sign. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll go second. Go ahead. All right. Good luck, Dolist. You as well. I don't know. Maybe I should have gone first. I was <laughs> winning like every game. <laughs> Maybe. I am just going to set a monster and I'm going to end my turn. Oh, you're going to regret that. All right. I will draw. We're going to fire off this pot of greed to yep, start things that's off. That's a killer. Yep. That's a killer open. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, it's also a killer open when I have a painful. Oh, choice my gauge. God. Yep. <laughs> this is not looking too good for you. This no, time already around. not off the bat. So let's go ahead and get rid of a magic merchant. Get her of a ninja grandmaster Sasuke. You're going to get some information on that one. Oh, okay. Old vindictive magician. A smashing of the ground. And a book de monde. Um, I'm going to give you that book de monde. Okay. So we'll take the book of moon, add that to our hand. And we are going to fire off mystic swordsman level oh, two, baby. Oh, shit. Yep. All right. <laughs> We're gonna go battle phase. We're going to attack and activate the effect to immediately destroy All that right, set. All right, so monster. it doesn't even flip up. It's nope, Tsukiyomi. no flipping. So we're just going to go to main two now, and I'm going to set uh, quite a few cards back here. Actually. Oh, all right. You got a lot then. Go all ahead. Right, cool. Unfortunately, Mystic Swordsman level two does not level up. It has to kill something by battle, not by its own effect. Oh, wow. Weird card. I'll draw for turn. That's also assuming I'm playing Mystic Swordsman level yeah, two. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start my turn by activating Cold Wave. Oh, God. Uh, I guess in response, I will activate Wall of Revealing Light. Okay. How much are you going to pay? And I'll pay 2k. 2k? Sure. At least that's up, but, like, if you have Emperor, I'm just dead anyway. Oh, no, you don't yeah. even have, like, no, a I don't have grave, a light, so. no, so. That Not is yet. Fun. Not yet, at least, yeah. You know what? I'm just going to pass to you, then. That Wall of Revealing Light really put a, a wrench in my plays there. I mean, it's pretty good. It put a wrench in your play in our last game as well. I will go to Battle Phase. We'll hit you for 900. Oh, man, the 900. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> hey, that's almost two fairy boxes. Anything <laughs> anything to reduce your life points for that is good enough for me. I will go to main two. I will just set a monster and pass the turn. All right, go I'll ahead. draw. I will set a card, and I will just end my turn. Sets one and passes. Interesting. Okay. Let's go ahead and flip up this Magician of Faith. Oh, man. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna get back that good old pot of greed. Yep, the pot of greed. We will fire that off. Do you have a response to I that? I got a magic Ooh, he, drain. I have never seen you flip magic drain faster in my life. Yeah. And luckily I... for you, I do not have a spell card. Oh, ditch, okay. So. Phew, you're not gonna get that plus one. That was annoying. I will. I feel like I gotta get some damage in here, so I'm just gonna tribute magician of faith for Jinzo. Oh, yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah, and we'll hit you in for thirty three. Thirty three is okay with me. I'm gonna try to get you on a two turn clock here. Uh, I'll just set another card and pass. Okay, I'll draw for turn. Oh, that's a really good draw. I'll boot up my turn with a nice reasoning. Gage, when are you gonna learn your lesson with this card? <laughs> I, I don't know, man. When I when I hit something that's not level four, you're gonna be scared. You're gonna be like, wow, that card's crazy. I think the next uh, the next merch design needs to be my face on the reasoning guy's body. Uh, I'm gonna call four. I mean, All we're right. like six for six on this now. Let's see if we- God, yeah! dude, what <laughs> the heck? Go. This game hates me, I swear. I'm never resolving <laughs> reasoning. I've got so many other cards in there, too. Oh, my God. It did give you a light, to be fair. It did, yeah, which is kind of important. I know you got Book of Moon, though. You do, because you added it to my hand via painful choice. And with Mystic Swordsman level two, I can easily just hit over whatever you summon. Yeah. You like that combo? Uh, that is a combo. Uh, I'm going to banish a light and a dark. Okay. And I'm going to summon this Chaos Sword. That's not nearly as bad. Is Chaos Sorcerer okay? You know, I actually think Chaos Sorcerer is fine. I'll follow up with the Smashing Ground. And I'll get rid of that Jinzo. Oh, um, yeah, that's a card. Sure. Nice. Okay, cool. Uh, I'll Chaos Sword Banisher Swordsman. Sure. All right, and then I'm going to follow up with a huge power play here, I think. Uh, I'm going to tribute this Chaos Sorcerer for my own Jinzo. That's... That's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good, ain't it? <laughs> All right, I'm going to go battle phase, and I'm going to sink in 24. Thinking on the attack. You got your own uh, Book of Moon. I know that. Yeah, I have my own book, so that's what I'm deliberating on here. I'm actually going to take it. You're going to take it? All right. Yeah. Sounds good to me. I will just end my turn then. Okay, so I will draw. So <laughs> Did you draw Snatch Deal? <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? No, ah, that's so BS. Oh, uh, yeah. It gets better, Gage. 
I'm sorry. Oh my god, yeah, all right, clean game one. Jesus, that was embarrassing. Gage, I don't know what's happening over there, buddy. You're, uh, I think you're losing your I'm losing my touch, there. dude. I feel like my deck keeps getting better, but somehow, like, my hands just keep getting worse. Like, how's that even work? Like, right, maybe it's the player, not the, the deck. Uh, I don't know. But... No, uh, uh, I think I, I'd like to think I'm at least okay at this game. I think so. Uh, I'll go second. Take the extra card. I definitely think the extra card helped me that that last time oh, for yeah. sure. We're going to just kick off main one with a simple, humble T set and pass the turn. All right, I will draw. I will set a monster and I'll just end my turn. A Mystic Swordsman definitely put in work though. Oh we'll yeah, he got in there. How do we want to proceed? I might just get super aggressive here. I'm going to tribute off the Sangan for Jinzo. Yeah, Jinzo's fine. Trigger off my Sangan. What do I want? I'm going to grab Mystic Swordsman level two. Yeah, sure. Swordsman is... Okay. And I'm going to just regeki your monster. Okay, it is Sangin, so I'm going to activate my Sangin. With my Sangin, I will pick up a Magical Merchant. Okay, and we'll go to battle, hit for 24. I'll take the 24. Main two, I will set a card and pass the turn. Okay, I'll draw. Ooh, that's a good draw. I'll go standby main, and I'll activate my Pot of Greed. That's a good one. That's going to resolve. Draw two. Oh, those are nice. Those are real good. I'm going to activate Smashing Ground to get rid of your Jinzo. You know what? I'm going to chain Book of Moon. Yeah. All right. Cool. You get to keep your Jinzo. Yep. Uh, for now. For now. <laughs> I will just set two cards and I'll end my turn. All right. Looks good. We're going to go main one. I'm going to immediately flip Jinzo back up. Is yep. that okay? He's okay. Mystic Swordsman level two. Join the battle. Sure. Swordsman will attack and use his effect. Cool. I will lose my magical merchant, but that is okay. And Jinzo will get in for 24. I'll take another 24. And I'll pass the turn. All right. I'll draw. This is looking like a speedy game too, game. Uh, I know. You say that, but I don't know. You might be uh, you might be crying here in just a second, dude. I am going to banish a light in the dark. Okay. And I'm going to summon Chaos Sorcerer. Okay. Do you have uh, a response? I do not have a response. Okay, awesome. Yeah, it's a big play if this goes through. I'm going to normal summon White Magical Hat. Okay, sure, sure. I'm going to go... This is a, This could be a very dangerous play you're doing here. Yeah, yeah, I'm wondering. <laughs> you got one Book of Moon you already used already, so I'm not too worried. I'm going to leave your Jinzo up for now. I'm going to go battle phase, and I'm going to attack into this uh, Mystic Swordsman level two. Gage, when are you ever going to learn? What I do you always have? have the card. What Just kidding. You... <laughs> I was going to say, there's nothing you can have there. I calculated every single little quarter, every single mathematical probability. There was nothing that was going to hurt you. Pitch that card out of the hand. Get it out of there. There goes my Magician of Fate. Oh, I love to see it. And then main phase two, I'm just going to banish that Jinzo. Uh, I'll just pass the turn to you, Duelist. Good luck. A draw. This is a bit of an awkward position here. I'm going to banish Sangan and Magician of Faith for yep. my own Chaos Sorcerer. Yeah, Chaos Sorcerer is okay. I'm going to banish your Chaos Sorcerer. That is fine. And I will just go to me. Oh, I don't know why. I'm not attacking, but I will <laughs> set another card. Go ahead. All right. Uh, I'll draw for turn. Ooh, that's good. So even if you kill my Chaos Sork, I don't have any cards in hand. So White Magical Hat's not going to be doing anything. All right. I'm going to tribute that White Magical Hat for okay. Jinzo. Yeah, it's a good one. And I'm going to attack into your Chaos Sorcerer. I will take 100. All right. Chaos Sork off the field. Love to see it. I'll just pass to you, Duelist. Okay. We're going to draw. That is possibly the worst draw in my deck. Uh, Go. All right, I'll draw. All right, let's see if I can nail it this time. Reasoning. <laughs> four, four, four. 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 Oh! oh all right, Mobius, you get to see him. He's pretty good. Yeah, look at you with the monarch luck. Yeah, wow, okay. So he, he doesn't this get this might effect. be a way for you to, like, just clean up right now. Uh-oh. Yeah, he doesn't get his effect, but he's pretty cool. He's frosty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's one way to describe him there. All right, I'm going to normal summon my Swarm of Locusts. Sure. And I'm going to go battle phase. Okay. We're going to go 1,000. Okay. And then 24, 24. Yeah, I'll take it all. Okay, and then main phase two, I'm going to set the Swarm of Locusts. Okay. And I'll just pass to you, Duels. This is pretty bad. I will set a monster and set a card. Go ahead. All right. I'll draw. All right, let's see if we can wrap this up pretty quick. Uh, I'm going to flip up my Swarm of Locust. Yeah, this might be the first time this is resolved. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to pop this one that you just set. I'm okay with that. It was my Wall of Revealing Light, okay, which is basically yeah, no, dead anyway. Useless so. against Jinzo. I'm going to activate Tribute to the Doomed, and I'm going to discard Gravekeeper's Spy. Oh, my guard. No. No, it's gone. And then you know what? Just for good measure, because I can, I'm going to banish a Light in the Dark. 
and I'm going to summon the mighty <laughs> Chaos Emperor Dragon, Odd Boy the End. I'm not going to use his effect. I'm just going to get in there for the battle damage. You're no fun. I could have easily still lost to the effect. Yeah, so. I just wanted to go and attack for 3,000, dude. It felt good. All you right, did. game you finally, technically, Technically, Chaos Emperor Dragon has won you a game. He did. He did. He did his job. Gage, you haven't been this close to winning in quite some time. So, I don't know. Uh... <laughs> Despite you having me down on life that mat, uh, that game, sorry, I, I was feeling pretty good. I felt like in the driver's seat the entire time. So Yeah, um... I mean, it, you basically had to have outs because I could have just easily won. Uh, I got very overly aggressive that time around, but we're going to go second. Uh, we're going to take that extra card, and uh, we're going to wish you the best of luck. We'll see what happens. Good will luck, this be the oh. end of Simo's win streak? I think it will be. I'm just looking at this hand, and oh my gosh, it is gas. I'm going to start it off with a goodie. I'm going to activate Painful Choice. That's always a good way to start this format. Yeah, yeah. be my guess. All right, cool. I'm going to dump Merchant, Merchant, Assailant, Witch, and a Sangin. Take your pick. You can take the Merchant. All right, I'll take Merchant. I'm happy with that. If anything, you'll mill Chaos Emperor. That's my goal. <laughs> and then I'm going to follow it up with a goodie. I'm going to activate Pot of Greed. That's pretty good. <laughs> I'll draw two. I mean, that's what I started with game one. And, uh, you know, I ended up winning in like five minutes. Yeah, so. yeah. It's not that bad. I'll set and I'll just pass to you. All right. Let's draw. I'm going to fire off my own Pot of Greed. Yep. Draw two cards. It's only fair. You got one. I really don't want that merchant to merch. So I think I'm actually going to Dark Hole. That's fine. It's not merchant. It's spy. That's still pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm just going to set a monster, set a face down, and I think that's going to do it for me. Go okay, ahead. I'll draw. Am I going to miss again? I can't miss again. Oh, please. Reasoning. Four. Okay. Yeah! Oh, oh my back God. to back. The Moby is coming in clutch. Like, did it just take you pulling Mobius to make reasoning not suck? I guess. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. I'll take the hit with the Mobius. That's pretty good to me. I'm still pretty happy about that because, like, that means you don't get Mobius' effect. Yeah, so... yeah. It kind of sucks, but it's all right. I'm okay with that. Yeah. I'm going to tribute that Mobius, and I'm going to summon Zaborg, the Mega, mo the mega oh, Monarch, the regular God. Monarch, and I'm going to pop this face down. It's okay. I don't think you want the Mega Monarch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, that is my own spy, actually. Oh, okay. Pretty good hit. I like it. I'll just go battle phase and I'll attack for 24. I will take that 24. Cool. Main phase two. I'll just end my turn. We get to show the power of the monarchs now. I'm the only one pulling them. So. <laughs> Apparently, yeah. <laughs> okay. How do we want to proceed here? I'm going to go ahead and normal summon Tsukiyomi. Yeah, you're going to flip down to my Zaborg. Yeah, let's flip that Zaborg. One of the sure. weaknesses of those monarchs is they're a thousand defense, and we can just hit right over him. Yep. I will just go to end phase, bring this back to my hand, and pass to you. Okay, I'll draw. I'll just set, and I'll pass. Okay, so that could be the merchant. I'm going to go ahead and normal summon Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke. Sure. And let's hit into this supposed merchant. And that see is the got. merchant. So merchant is going to merch. Donk. All right, freed. All right, spy. All right. Okay, I'll pick up a sacrifice. Okay, summer. that's fine. I mean, that's not like the worst, I suppose. Merchant will go to the graveyard, and I guess I'll go to main two and set a card, and I will pass the turn. Okay, I will draw. Gives you a light. Um, it's so good that it's light. It's yeah, so it's good. so good. <laughs> I'll activate Smashing Ground, and I'll get rid of that Ninja. Thank you for the light. You're welcome, dude. I'm sure you. I'm sure you are so happy about that. It requires me to have Chaos Sorcerer. Yeah, but yeah I'm gonna normal. I mean... I'm gonna go for the marbles here. If you've got it, you got it. I'm gonna normal summon White Magical Hat. Sure. And I'm gonna go Battle Phase. I'm gonna try to poke for a thousand. I'm gonna have to Book of Moon this. Okay. Don't it's want that. Not Sakuretsu, so I'm okay with that. I'll set it. Main Phase Two. I will set a card, and I'll just end my turn. Probably a Sakuretsu of your own. I'm gonna draw. That's kind of awkward. All right. I'm going to set set and set and i'll pass all right you're going all in uh i will draw for turn oh, oh, oh. oh no alex oh dude it might be over for you all right well let's hope you have it stand by main during the start of my main phase one i'm going to uh -oh. activate cold wave oh god uh that's gonna resolve oh is it it is all right and then i'm going to banish a light and a dark and I'm going to summon the mighty Chaos Emperor Dragon, 
Envoy of the End, and I am going to activate his effect. I'm going this to pay is going a thousand to get life. So points, disgusting. And I am going to wipe the board and our hands. We have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven cards total. So I'm going to take thirty-three hundred damage <sighs> as a result. Oh my of this. gosh! And everything just gets sent to graveyard, correct? Everything just gets sent to graveyard. Yep. What did I get rid of? What did I get rid of? You got rid of a lot of good stuff. Oh, my. Oh, <laughs> Chaos Sorcerer Jinzo. I'm okay with that. Yeah. I don't know. I got you on the ropes, bro. You I do, but now we're in a top deck war. We so. are. We are. <laughs> All right. So I'll just pass to you. Go ahead. We're going to see if you end up regretting this. Oh, my God. Uh, Go. Draw. Go. Okay. That's good. Okay. I think we have to do this. I'm going to banish my Sasuke and my Gravekeeper Spy to summon my own Sorcerer. Yeah, sure. And are you going to attack for gonna, 23? Uh, no, I'm going to banish himself. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> it seems like a good play. <laughs> I'll pass, go. I'll draw. Um, that was a very good draw on my part. Yeah, I bet. It's not going to be good enough against a Dark Oh, player. come on. I'll just uh, I'll set pass. Okay, we'll draw. I will set pass with my own. Go ahead. Okay, I'll draw set this is rough this is so rough yeah yeah i don't know what that is that could be old and addictive or anything i'm gonna flip up my gravekeeper guard and i'm gonna bounce this back to your hand <sighs> yeah that's fine all right and i'm gonna try to sink in for a thousand i will take it oh it's getting close it's getting close it's getting dangerously close i'll just uh i'll pass i'll draw oh my god uh, i will just set and pass oh boy give me a sukiyomi off the top Okay, it's not Tsukiyomi. Um, I'll, that would have been crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go to battle phase, and I'll try to attack over this face down. You attacked into a new card, actually. Oh, really? It is my Mystic Swordsman level four. Oh, you got... Isn't that an ultra rare? It is an ultra rare. That's hot, dude. There you go. All right. So cool. you were going to take 600 damage. Okay. And the question is, I'll answer that, yes, I do have Mystic Swordsman level four. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'll go main phase two. I'll just set a card. I'll end my turn. Okay. I will draw. Now, this is a bit sketchy because I, like, don't want to attack your guard because, like, again, I don't know if you have Fairy Box in the deck. We haven't played Fairy Box in a while, but, like, if there's a way to lose this, Fairy Box is one of the ways. If you have Sakuretsu armor, I just lose my Mystic Swordsman, so that's bad. So I think what I'm going to have to do here is I'm going to switch Mystic Swordsman into attack mode. Okay. Just to have a little bit of a beefier body. And I will just set a monster and I will pass. Okay, I'll draw. I am getting so nervous right now. <laughs> you should be scared, dude. I'll throw this guard into defense position. I'll just set a card and I'll end my turn. I'm gonna draw. It's not bad. I'm going to flip up Old Vindictive Magician. I figured you had it. Yeah, that's fine. We're gonna pop the guard. We're gonna go to battle. Yep. Attack with Old Vindictive Magician. Yep, I'm gonna take that 450 and I'm gonna take the 1900 as well. And I will go to main two. I will set and I will set. Gage, our life points are not looking too healthy They're here. not. I'll draw. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. No, it's not. I'm waiting for you to just draw the second emperor and just deck me with it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I wish. Oh, my God. That'd be crazy top deck, but I did not get it. Uh, I'm going to have to do this. I'm going to activate Smashing Ground. Oh, do I want that to resolve? I think I'm going to flip this. Order. Order will negate it. Unless Order. You have something. Bro, I... <laughs> Dude, not this like this. this. <laughs> I can't. He doesn't have anything else. <laughs> I can't believe this, dude. Yeah, order's fine. <laughs> uh, how did I lose another episode? He said it. Yes. How did I lose another <laughs> one, dude? Oh my god, I even resolved the chaos emperor dragon. I don't have any plays. I'm going to end my turn. He said he has nothing. Oh, I guess we're we'll just trying to go to battle God. and see if he's bluffing. No, I'm not. You got it. Unbelievable, dude. Oh, my God. Dude. Unbelievable. I can't believe it. You came back. What was in the back row? Was it just all, like, protection stuff? Cursed seal, magic drain, and then Raigeki break. Oh, I was trying to think, no. like, if I wanted to keep the magic drain in my hand to pitch off a Raigeki break. And then I drew that smashing ground, and I was like, I'm going to have to smashing ground this. What was this? It was a spy. Okay. 
that would have been game two as well anyways because you could right and i by. i'm very happy the first card i drew was torrential oh wow yeah that's a pretty so good i had a pretty good insurance policy like so when you had the guard and bounce mystic swordsman into my hand if you would have had some way to game me i could have just luckily torrential yeah. there yeah so that was like my lifeline oh my god i so so really it was the fact that these three draws were just heinous yeah, mine were not good. I, I, I didn't get any monsters. I needed one. Like, that guard was okay. I thought guard it might was, have I been... Think, I think guard, if you got, like... So, if you would have gotten guard first and then gotten, like, another monster to follow it up with, even though I had torrential, but, like, if you ignore yeah. that, that would have probably been the best case scenario because then you flip guard, bounce my thing, and then you could just attack with both the things, and then I could have, like, easily just lost right there. Yeah, yeah. What, when's my next draw? Damn, that's bad. There, that's what I needed. Oh, I needed a chaos yeah, you needed like, yeah, point. you needed just a big power card yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, uh, I can't believe I lost another episode, bro. I don't, I don't know, dude. This deck is actually like real. Like when it works, it works. <laughs> but, yeah, oh, man. there, there could have maybe been an argument to keep your dark hole because I know you used it on chaos sorcerer just yeah, to clean yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I did use it on the chaos sorcerer to clean it up, but then I couldn't like stick anything else if I would have like. Not and, and like in it. a simplified game state, it's so hard to justify that, right? Because yeah. like if you don't draw anything else, then like you're just hit taking twenty three every turn. That's so hard you know what I probably, as, bad I as, done that too. as bad as losing as that was at least i was able to resolve reasoning twice like that's the plus side well of it. you resolved reasoning twice <laughs> you summoned chaos emperor twice it didn't die and you also got to use the effect once and, and literally i still almost won the game on lost the back of it. i still <laughs> lost dude what the fuck like <laughs> i don't know man uh i thought this one went well too i just I don't know. Couldn't get past it. Ugh. I still think. I still think it's super close. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh man. That after Emperor resolves, it's anyone's game. Yeah. Really. Yeah. God. Like I, if you would have drawn Chaos Sorcerer as your first card, like it, or like after I drew my Chaos Sorcerer, then you could have just banished mine, and then I've got like nothing. Yep. You know? yeah, that was a really good match, though. Even though, even though I didn't win it this time, that was really so, good, though. You got the Mobius. Anything else good that you pulled? I mean, out of the set, I don't think there was really anything that impressive. I did pull like a couple supers, like the Prenumeral Soldier Lady thing. I got that. Yeah, I got that. I got, um, God, what else did I get? I, I just got excited for the Mobius. That's about it. I didn't yeah, get any ultra uh, rares. I, I, I don't want to do this to you. Oh, you got a Mobius yourself, too. All right, that's I sick. did. That's good, though, because now we have, like, a solid piece of spell and trap removal. Yeah. Uh, that we both have access to, so that's pretty good. So, funny fact. So, I got Mystic Swords in level 2 and 4, which are good. Uh, I, I debated on not playing level 4, and as soon as we started doing this back and forth after Emperor Resolved, I was, like, immediately regretting it, because I'm like, I have to set this. I yeah. can't believe this. But, I mean, because we play so many defensive cards, and we have a lot of small guys, too. So, like, Mystic Swords in level 2 can, like, hit over a Merchant or, like, a Vindictive Magician. Yeah. So, like, there could be a chance to actually level it up, which would be kind of sick, but I think it's, like, just kind of gimmicky at that point. Yeah, I actually did also I didn't play it, but I was thinking about it. I pulled Horus level four, six and eight. Oh, you pulled the whole trio. <laughs> I, I pulled, not only did I pulled the trio, I pulled two fours and two sixes. Oh, wow. So you could like actually play the engine if you wanted to. I, like, I could have. Yeah, I mean, it's it's awful. Don't get me wrong. But well, like, I mean, Horus the Black Flame Dragon level eight. If you can get it out, he's pretty sick. But well, yeah, it, eight is sick. Yeah, but like, because then I was thinking like, oh, yeah, old school Jinzo Horus level eight combo, you know, yeah. no spells and traps getting activated. Isn't Horus like one of your favorite cards too? Horus is up there. Yeah, for yeah, sure. I, but I knew it was one up there. You have to play so many cards to like justify it is the problem. So I'm just like, it's not worth it. Dude, I can't um, believe I lost another episode, man. I thought this deck was banging when I built it together. I mean, I still think it is considering the fact that I mean, I almost lost. Yeah, like, I mean, if I again, if I drew one decent monster, it was over. Yeah, and you saw the Mystic Swords in level two. I think that's yeah. pretty much all the. Oh, did you uh, play Mind Crush at all? I didn't play Mind Crush. I okay. actually probably I, should have sided it, but I didn't end up doing that. I was actually side decking them, so I was side decking them. I side decked them in game two. Never saw them, but I figured that's actually pretty good because we do have a lot of cards that do reveal a card. So like Witch, Sangan, Painful Choice. Yeah. Um, if you play Mind Crush for like my magician of faith you can hit the spells out of my hand yep. and so i was worried about that also if i'm trying to like do something and like go for game or like do a risky play and if i think you might have emperor to like punish me i could just blind call emperor you know if i wanted to yeah just to see if you have it i don't get the hand we don't get the hand information anymore which kind of sucks with mind crush i still think it's an okay card to side deck at the very least mm -hmm. when a chaos emperor dragoned what was your face down monster it was a sukiyomi okay okay so i was trying to think like if there was a route i could have took in like attacking for 
first with Chaos Emperor Dragon if it would have made a difference. So and if you would have done if you would have done that, then I would have Sukiomi booked your Emperor, so then you wouldn't have been able to Emperor that turn. Yeah, yeah. And then, but I, the thing is, I don't know actually if I could have outed it because he's twenty five hundred defense, right? Correct. Yeah. What did you have in yeah, the back row? Though? I got I had, of, like Smashing Ground and Snatch Steel. Yeah, there were two Smashing Grounds and Snatch Steel because I was trying to protect from uh, from White Magical Hat if you had anything good. Mm -hmm. And so I had Jinzo and Chaos Sork in my hand. But the problem is with Book of Moon is that all the those cards that are destruction cards need the monster to be face up. Yeah. And so Book actually doesn't work well with that. And so that was the problem with the White Magical Hat is that I couldn't kill it even though I booked it. What and you so, could have done probably though is if it was booked with Sukiyomi, you could have attacked into it with anything, take the damage, and then you could have snatched it up and then used it yourself if that's you wanted true. to, I, or you could just like put it in attack position and. Or I could have just <laughs> smash and ground it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I could have yeah. just done that at that point. But yeah, I mean, so there's I would that would have been the aggressive play though. So yeah. you didn't have Emperor on the field at that point for me to do that. So yeah. you would have attacked over it. It would have died. Emperor would have been set. So I would have had I had no monsters at that point either. I just had like all spells and traps and then tribute monsters. Mm -hmm. So I would have literally had to have top decked a single normal summonable monster and you had sakuretsu armor in the back row anyway yeah so you actually could have protected so it wouldn't have even worked lots to think so, about though but like i don't know i feel like that game was good though i feel like it played pretty well i feel like my deck finally did what like i wanted to do like efficiently and that's like summon chaos upper dragon hopefully resolve the effect and like get into a top teching position that i could hopefully win but i just draw i drew awful dude like i i drew that curse seal as my first card off the top and i was like that is the worst draw in my deck i ended up setting it i probably should have kept it in hand because the next draw was Raigeki Break, but I, I didn't have that kind of foresight to be like, oh, I'm going to draw Raigeki Break, my one of Raigeki Break, so maybe I should keep a card in hand. But Well, exactly. Like, yeah, like hindsight, that's always 2020, you know? But yeah. Yeah, I mean, and that's the thing too. Like, your deck is good enough that it just functions on its own. And then, like, you just, like, you're doing perfectly fine even before you got Emperor Dragon. So then it's like Emperor Dragon, you can even just use it as a 3K beater, which yeah. is what's terrifying because, like, at any point, if I just have, like, if you have any way to just, like, tribute to the Doomed or Smashing Ground, something I have, and then you just drop Emperor. You don't even have to use the effect. You can just hit me for 3k yeah. and I could just lose instantly. Yep, sometimes that just gets in there. Yeah, or like Fairy Lily plus Emperor 6400 damage or something. Uh -huh. Like, I mean, yeah, I don't know if you're still playing Fairy Lily. I but am I mean, still playing just... Fairy Lily. I think it's actually yeah. in the side deck now, but um, yeah. Nah, overall, I think the deck performed well. Yours was pretty good too. Not a lot of changes with Soul of Duelist, but what's next? What's our next set? We have Rise of Destiny next. Oh, uh, so Sacred Rise Phoenix of and Nemthes is in that, isn't it? No, that's Flaming Eternity. Oh, you're thinking okay, a little well, bit too far I, ahead. But, I uh, hear Phoenix and... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rise of Destiny has uh, Dekoichi is in Rise of Destiny. Oh, Dekoichi's really cool, yeah. Dekoichi's very good, yeah. Just a free draw card with Sukiyomi. We could draw more cards, you know? We could do some You got two Sukiyomi, there. though. I only got one still, so... <laughs> I'm, I'm always still playing the one, to be Yeah, fair. you're just... You haven't put in the second one? No, it's just... It's so hard. To, there's so there's no room. Like, all these cards are so good. It's really hard to justify. And Sukiyomi's just had, like... It's been okay, but there's mm -hmm. times where it just does literally nothing. <laughs> you're gonna have your moment at some point. Like, I know. I, thought, I feel I like I'm like, was done. I when thought you, got, you were when, too. When you finally summoned Emperor and resolved it, I thought it was over. Me I'm too. like, this is, I'm like, this is done. Me too. This, I thought that this, was going to be my first episode. I topped that Emperor. I was holding the cold wave in my hand since the beginning of the duel. And I was like, I'm just going to wait until I'm going to be able to guarantee like resolve this. And unless you have Imperial order, I'm going to at least be like, be able to clean up. And well, I and mean, it more... did do that, but I just didn't see a monster. Like if I saw any monster with like any stat value and I was able to at least poke in for something, whew. It would have been over and, for you. And what's more frightening as well is that Mobius, you can like tribute Mobius to like clear my back row first and yeah. then summon Emperor. Yeah, now. I was super stoked to, to pull the Mobius because I've been struggling all series with like spell or trap removal. And that was like the first one where I was like, wow, this card's actually like really good. Like now yeah. I have a way to like efficiently out back row that, you know, I normally couldn't before. So. And it's searchable via Witch of the Black Forest, yep. which is also scary. Yep. Yeah, You don't have any witches, <laughs> dude. Still didn't I get don't. them back in the day. I don't. But, I mean, that's going to that's gonna pay off for you in the long run. And, I mean, again, we still have, what, like 70 episodes to oh, go. Yeah, so some, like, something like we that. We still yeah. have, like, <laughs> there's still plenty of time for you to be able to just turn this around. No worries. And, like, when we get to the later sets, like Phantom Darkness and stuff, and you get to put, like, Allure of Darkness and all that stuff in tandem with Emperor. Oh, my God. That's going to be terrifying. <laughs> all right. Maybe next episode. So it'll be my episode. I don't Maybe. know. If, I feel like people in the comment section can't clown on me anymore. I feel like my deck is pretty sound, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah, they'll we'll find see. a way. They'll find a way. <laughs> Ab absolutely. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of the progression series. Hashtag team Simo, hashtag team gauge down in the comments. Whose side are you on guys? Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.